So this thing here is a Leslie cube. It's basically, as the name suggests, a massive cube. And each side is a different color. So we've got like a matte black side, a silver. There's also a white and a shiny black as well. Now this is the kind of thing that's only really used in the classroom to demonstrate different rates of emission of infrared radiation. Now I found that when I was a teacher, I'd often fill this full of hot water, I would be on my desk, and then I couldn't move it because it was so hot to actually pick up. So what I tended to do uh, was put it inside a grapnel tray and that meant I could fill it full of hot water, show it to the class, and then safely move it to get rid of the hot water. But I thought, why not make my own? So rather than having the Leslie's cube, we're gonna have the Leslie cylinder. And I'm gonna do that by using a tin of baked beans. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty out all of the baked beans in this can. Uh, luckily, I quite like cold beans, so I'm just gonna eat these. Okay, so I've now eaten the beans. What I'm gonna do is clean out the baked bean juice. I'm also going to take off the uh, label on the outside. Now this one's a Heinz beans uh, can. Um, other ones are available, but I've found that Heinz tastes the nicest. Um, so we can see we've already got one shiny side. So uh, the other side is gonna be painted matte black. So I'm gonna clean this up now. And then what we're gonna do is uh, with the window open so it's nice and ventilated, I'm gonna paint one side in matte black. So I've now cleaned out the can and dried it on the inside. I'm now just going to use some masking tape uh, to mask off what is going to be the black side and what's going to remain the shiny silver side. Uh, so I'm just going to put it on like that. And actually what I'm going to do is I've just got some tissue here that I'm going to put on the inside so I don't end up painting the entire inside of the can, so I think that uh, that should do it. Um, so what I can now do is paint this again. If you're gonna do this at home, you could try doing four different colors. So you could have a gloss white and a gloss black, but if you're gonna do it, make sure that you do have a very well ventilated area. So let me just move those out of the way. Uh, and what I'm now going to do is a couple of very light coats of matte black paint. So that's the first coat on there and I've actually got a heater over here so I'm going to turn this on to help with the drying process. So I think this is dry enough now so if I just take out this stuff and remove uh, the tape I think I'm pretty happy with that uh, the line between the two. And then if I just take off the other side. Uh, what we can now do is test it out. And I'm going to do that by um, putting in some hot water. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that small device. So if I just clear this away, I'll wipe up some of the bean juice. Now, again, um, once I've finished, it's going to be really hot. So I'm actually going to put this inside a gratinol tray um, or any other tray that you might have. And to do this, uh, I've got a freshly boiled uh, kettle of water. Just be very careful as I pour it in. And what this is going to do is going to heat up uh, the metal on both sides. Now, in order to look at the amount of infrared radiation being emitted by each side, I have one of these small digital thermometers. So if I uh, press go, I'm gonna shine it at the black side, so I point it at the black side, and it's giving me a reading of 80.0, okay? If I do the same at the silver side, it's giving me a reading of actually about 28.2. Now, I must be very clear, that is not actually the temperature of the metal. Because we've got the same temperature of water inside, both of the sides of this container are going to be at exactly the same temperature but they're going to be giving out or emitting a different amount of infrared radiation. Now what this is designed to do is norm, in, under normal circumstances, it's calibrated so the amount of infrared radiation it detects is then given a temperature value. So when I point it at this, it's not actually telling me 
when I point it at this that it's actually at 80 degrees, but it's an indication of the amount of infrared radiation given off. Just like if I point it at this and it says it's actually at 27.9, it's actually a lot hotter. If I was to put my hand there, it actually is really, really hot. So a lot hotter than just a hot summer's day. So we can definitely see with my Leslie cylinder, as I'm gonna call it, that even though we've got the same material, due to the different color, they emit a different amount of infrared radiation and the amount of infrared emitted, uh, we can get an indication of that by using a digital thermometer. So that one there is something that you can maybe make at home, you can make at school, and it's a really good way of investigating how different colored surfaces emit and also actually absorb infrared radiation.